What's up, you guys? It's Matt here, aka Georgia Gent. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe just for more content. But uh, today, guys, I'm coming to you with my sin of the afternoon, which was by the uh, YSL. It is my favorite from the line, is Loam Ultum. Uh, this morning, at about 6 in the morning, I put on uh, my Zahar signature for home. It's Friday, it's one of my payday since, and today happens to be payday. So I decided to give that, give that one a, um, a run again, and it was nice. I did two sprays, perfect. Um, much better than the previous time that I did it at work. It was just five sprays. The two seemed to do just the right amount for me. Um, but I decided to compliment that at uh, around noon with this. By no means did the Zahar off, was it, was it worn off or was it gone? I like I like refreshers. I like things that will you know just kind of wake me up a little bit in the middle of the day. This happened to do it. Um, but anyways, guys. Uh, next, I'm gonna have a nice little fragrance haul. I'm, I'm, uh, when we get off work, I'm gonna head over there to uh, TJ Maxx and I think uh, and I think Ross to see what they have. But uh, y'all stay tuned. All right. So first place we're going to is TJ Maxx. Uh, watched the video on Mr. Cheap since here the other day. Um, hopefully, this selection here. It is it getting a little better? That was a couple days ago. Hopefully they got it in a truck by then or by now. Uh, let's go see. All right, so here we are. We have a, quite a bit of stuff here. Um, a lot of stuff that I've seen a hundred times in here. So I guess see this more CGA shop. Rush for men. Gary man. Over Forty bucks. Um, Miyake. Shout out to uh, the queen of it. Um, the double million there still. What is this song for? Say no. Uh, let's see. Alright. It's a mess down here. So like they always have women's stuff in the men's section and vice versa. Um, I'll tell you they're next. If I don't film anything, it's because they don't have anything that's relevant. Um, already men's stuff. That's 34 bucks. Pass on that. A lot of Adidas, a lot of Chrome United. There's some stuff out there, I don't know what that is. How's oh, that OP stuff? Mr. Burberry, 40 bucks. What's this stuff? That's different. I guess sweetness of that. It's like, it's like a cherry in there, I think. That's not bad for 10 bucks. That's interesting. Let's see what we've got here. Um, Hugo Boss, Tommy Hilfiger. Hugo, 30 bucks. Are you okay on that? Uh, is it that one million? No, I don't know what that is. Nightcap. Um, they don't see much. But I did see these. These kind of were interesting to me. Blue Coast. I just sprayed it before I got turned on. I wasn't really too, uh, too thrilled by it. Um, this has been here for uh, six months. Let's see. Imperial Blue. Right here. It's a clean, it's a clean freshie. A thousand more of them. Just like that here. I'm not a fan of rum scents. Spice Voyage. I'm used to go to guess and this it's like a spicy aquatic. It's, those two never really bloom well for me. Another one of the spicy voyage. I got a beer in here. Yeah, that looks like good. I might have to go walk over to uh 
to Ross to the gut. As you, yeah, that's it. But before I leave, I guess you all, all these, they got a bunch of these old gifts, gifts that OP. It's for uh, 13 bucks. This is rhythm. 50 bucks though for that. That's a, that's a bit steep. If I'm gonna spend 50 bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and go over there to uh, Belks. This is the the way bad here. You know, I might turn this this off here in a minute and Google this fragrance for the. I heard about wave two. I heard about wave one. I'm gonna take that one out. Here we have some Versace. Yeah, this guy. This guy's pretty cool. This one that I smelled from. These are cheap scents. Uh, our little collab from Sony. It's cool. We got two two man ice there. I already have that. Some CK. Let's bevel heels and guess. Here, this is a cool, good scent. Here, I like it a lot. Eternity Air for Ben. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna go over there and take, take, take out bills before I come over here. If I get anything, it might be that hot away. I'm gonna look it, look it up on base notes and figure out see what it says about it. Is that a shower gel, what is that? Body wash, okay, all right, all right, guys. So, we're in here in Ross, they have a pretty large selection of Adidas and. Some dupe and Devon, which they always kind of have some that I've always really seen. But what I did today is I pulled this uh, Playboy Endless Night. I want to see if I have one here that I have not smelled before. Um, and I have, what's your name? Shauna. Uh, Shauna here. Say hey to Shauna, guys. Uh, she's going to test one of these fragrances and see if she enjoys them. Here I have, have you ever smelled them before? No. No? Okay. Playboy. All right, so here, y'all, we have King of the game, which I've, I've not smelled this one. This is not one that I have in my collection. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let her get the first question on this one. Okay, there it is. Not so bad, it really smells pretty good. Mm -hmm. That one's nice. Yeah, that one's a little more subtle than the one that you sprayed. Yeah, yeah. that one's pretty yeah. nice. Very cool. What is this, King of the game? Yeah, I'll, I'll put it back in there. Cool. All right, guys. So, as you can see, there's not a lot. So it's kind of went went, went mess around with the Playboy fragrances, but we'll see y'all. All right, guys. So I'm in here in Ross, and not a lot. Same old stuff normally. Adidas and Curve. See that tattoo in here? I think. Yeah. Same old. Get some other in here too. I guess some of the done last week. I guess. Okay. The name has me intrigued. And so there's a price tag. Okay. Let's go put this one right here. Um don't hold desire believe. I never heard of that one. This is good old stuff. Um, some Adidas here too. Black Panther stuff. There you go. All right. Fair Gamma. Some more stuff. I think this is gonna be what I get here. Right? Twenty bucks. And it's, it's a uh, two point five ounce, seventy five milliliter. Cool. All right, you guys. All right, y'all. So I'm back home. Uh, so what I picked up today was. This Banana Public uh, Cypress and Cedar. I got this. This one was at Bill's. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx, which is Forest. I uh, mistakenly thought that uh, that Keith picked this one up in his video, but he didn't. But I like it. It's EDC. Uh, it's the ED Cologne, so this is going to be a really light scent. Um, I might put this in my bathroom, put it on after I shower. Cause it's not it's not it's not super uh, loud and it's not gonna last a long time, um, but I like it. It's not bad. I tried finding anything at all about this online. I couldn't find anything. I could find it's, it's made by True Fragrance and Beauty. I could find that company online, but I looked through their inventory of what they sell, and this was not on there. Um, so this might be one of their discontinued fragrances. Um, but I don't know. I like it. It's not bad. 
it's it was, it was 12 bucks so not bad uh then i get home and uh adrian in the tltg lounge shout out bro shipped me this i traded him some of my office for uh, for men for this and i put it on my arm i'll do it again i like this stuff i like stuff a lot it's like, it's like a clean smooth fragrance for the office um that has something that has an oomph to it it's not loud but it has an oomph to it um it's clean. It, this is a nice scent. This is a nice scent. I haven't looked at the base notes, so I don't know the notes are. But what I can tell you is that it's clean and it's nice. This is a nice fragrance. Um, I don't know what this retails for. Um, I had the I had the intense version of this in a decant. Um, that, that that was okay. It was a little loud for me. Um, but this one right here, this seems like it's okay. This this is wearable. This is one hundred percent wearable. Um, I feel like in an office setting, this is gonna be nice. But now onto this. So I, I looked this up on uh, Fragrance Net, and uh, this nineteen ninety nine for this is a good deal. Apparently, on there, uh, even with I think the thirty seven percent off, it would be, would have been more than this. It would be like uh, I think it's thirty two dollars with thirty percent. So whatever that, I'm not the best at math. <laughs> uh, it's funny because because I crunch, crunch numbers all day long for a living. Um, but uh, so. Here we have the presentation. Um, pulls out like this, and then we have this right here. This is a 2.5 uh, fluid ounce, 75 mLs. Um, oh well, it's a solid bottle. So it comes in here with with this right here. You see, it's just right in there. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard. Um, the back here you have all of the ingredients uh, that is flammable so don't uh, don't be on around fire when you're I don't know. Um, so okay yeah now on to the bottle this is a nice bottle so heavy cap that's always, to me that's always a good sign of a fragrance is that it's heavy cap it's not magnetic but it fits real good on there um, See. Ooh. Well, that's nice. If you know about fragrances that I like, you know that I enjoyed the uh, Blue Cedar and Cypress by Cremo. I think it just found it's more, uh, is less uh, sharp opening brother, I guess, right here. It's like minus that, 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 that loud, kind of sharp, not in a bad way sharp, but sharp opening of Blue Cedar and Cypress. I focus more on the cypress than on the cedar. This is good, guys. It's a good blind buy. I think this is going to be my sin of the night. Oh, it's nice. This this is hands down the best uh, Banana Republic uh, fragrance that I've gotten. I have two more down there. Yeah. Yeah, two more down there. Or one more down there. I gave one to Brosense. Shout out, Brosense. I hope you're enjoying that bottle. And you put some, some use. Guys, this, this is going to get some wear from me. And if it does, it's going to be saying a lot about the product because, as you guys can see, there's a lot there for me to put on. I mean, now I have a solid office scent. A solid office scent. And... And after shower scent, because this is this gonna be something to kind of play with, because it's it's nice, and I can't really put it on this hand because you also saw the video I put the Playboy on here. Um, quick thing on the Playboy. One thing that I'm starting to realize about that fragrance is that they all have like a really sweet under undertone to them, um, which 
Um, I've kind of gotten from, from sweeter fragrances, sweeter, cheaper fragrances, but there aren't a lot of those in that line that don't have that really sweet undertone. It, it, might, it might just be the DNA of the Playboy fragrances. Um, they're still they're still nice to wear because that sweetness is gonna. It, it, each time I wore them, it kind of hit me in the nose. Um, which, it, like I said, it's not bad. This this is one of the ones that I can like breathe like into my lungs and it be okay. <laughs> That's nice, guys. That's a good, a good blind buy. And like I said, uh, I don't recommend blind buying for anything that's over fifty bucks. This is twenty bucks. This is a good buy for me. Got this one in a trade, and this was thirteen dollars. All in all, this is a good day. Good day for, for, for fragrances, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little bit of video that I had in, in TJ Max, in Marshalls, and in. Um, I'm oh, not Marshalls, excuse me, uh, in Ross, in Bills. Um, if you enjoyed that, just make sure you leave a like, comment down below. Um, if you tried, you know, either this, um, if you tried this, and if you have tried this, you know, anything, anything about this fragrance, just comment down below. The, uh, the, the company is The Modern Gentleman, which, like I said, I tried Googling it, and, I, and it stumped me because I can't find it anywhere. And it was weird is that they had two of these bottles there, they were, the bottles were two completely different bottles. Um, but it was the same stuff, the same juice, and it even sound, down to the same batch code. Same batch code on too, but two separate green bottles. One had like a, like, like a thicker a metal style cap and was flattened in a sense, kind of like my office for men up there. It was flat, like it could hold like this. This one is, is obviously more round. Um, but they were both 100 milliliter. Um, and... Not bad fragrance. Not, not for twelve bucks. It's not bad fragrance. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have a great Friday night. Um, I'm about to get cleaned up. I'm trying to decide which one of these two I'm gonna go with tonight. I don't know. That's coming to me. But anyways, you have a good night.